Hey guys, today I'm going to give you my personal tips on how to get that stubborn girlfriend into gaming with you. I really want to help games get more female exposure. I just know that if we work together, we can get them loving games just as much as I do. This guide can apply to you too if your significant other is male, but since it's generally harder to get girls into gaming, we'll focus on that a little bit more. First off, congrats on being a part of the best fucking thing in the world and contributing to my favorite community of people. God, gaming is just so amazing for so many different reasons, but you already know that. So let's get the ball rolling. First off, if you are with someone who makes you feel like gaming is stupid or a waste of time, get that notion completely out of your head immediately. Not only is gaming a valid career path, an immersive and self-improving, thought-provoking hobby, and just an epic experience all around, your significant other should support your passions, no matter what they are. Being with someone who doesn't understand you, controls you, or makes you feel like what you care about doesn't matter is not healthy. You deserve better. So step one is sitting her down and letting her know why it means so much to you, what gaming has done for your life, and why you enjoy it. Remember, communication is important. If she's a good person, she'll want you to be happy. You can tell her stories about playing growing up or that time when gaming was there for you when no one else was. Step two, and a great way to start getting her involved is to play a couple one-player campaigns for her. I still even do this with my friends sometimes. Some games are so entertaining to watch that they're like interactive movies or something, and watching can be just as fun as playing sometimes. For this, I recommend games like Heavy Rain and adventure games like Assassin's Creed. She'll love Ezio, he's so romantic. Kind of. Oh, hey, Aspetta, what are you doing? Do you love her? What? Do you love her? Christina, the woman you're about to marry. Yes, I do. I, I swear I do. Kill me here and I will die still loving her. You are never going to gamble again. Never, Marcel. You will be a good husband to her. Or I will hunt you down. Kill you myself. He's fine. He'll make a good husband. I made sure of it. Wh what? RPGs or games that allow you to make decisions can be fun too. You can never choose what to say in the dialogue. Catherine is one of my favorites for this with a bunch of crazy endings. Chances are she'll eventually want to play too, so you guys can switch off from time to time. Next, you can find out what she likes and get her playing some casual games or some girly games that'll spark her interest for the world of gaming. Farmville girls might like Animal Crossing or Harvest Moon. One thing you gotta understand is, until recently, gaming was thought to be only for men. So many girls simply weren't exposed to gaming growing up, which means they just aren't as interested or simply think it's too hard to do. Be patient and understanding of this fact. She's not gonna be a pro gamer right away and she's not gonna be overwhelmed by a high level RTS or FPS for her first game. And if she does want that, why are you even watching this video? Go play with your girlfriend, you've scored yourself a keeper. This brings me to my next tip. If she's never gamed before, make sure the game is a little bit easier. I recommend petting two kittens with one hand and showing her games from your childhood. Unless you played a lot of Contra, don't have her playing Contra. Not only will she most likely love the cuter graphics of things like Super Mario and Donkey Kong, but the controls in the platformer style gameplay will be a little bit easier without being boring. Hey, and the benefit of most of these is, they have a co-op. Which can, dun 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 da make gaming something you guys enjoy doing together. You know, as a way to bond. Many girlfriends will feel like men use gaming as a way to kind of get away from them, or they feel really ignored when you spend days or hours on end playing. If you involve her and get her hooked, you guys will be spending a lot more time together too, which she'll be happy about, trust me. Get a good multiplayer game like World of Warcraft, where investing time into the game actually counts for something. Co-own a raiding or PvP guild together, and remember, show her the vanity pets. There's definitely nothing sexier than a woman backing up her man in a raid by healing him. Or maybe you're the healer. Female tanks. Hot. If MMO games aren't your poison, try some co-op console games like Castle Crashers or Rayman Legends. Still not your thing? There are still tons of great party games like Wii Party, Mario Party, and of course, fighting and racing games for those times you just want to waste time together. If you want to break the ice, you can even invite some friends over for this too. Make it a party and don't forget about sports games and dance games. Imagine it, you and your girl sitting on the couch smiling and laughing as you tread through a good game story or challenge each other in mortal combat. Sounds like heaven, right? Well, tell her that you feel that way. Hopefully these tips have helped gamers around the world keep their relationship and improve it while enjoying the many fruits of being a gamer. And remember, don't let anyone tell you that gaming is a waste of time. 
Changing yourself and not being who you are for someone else is totally not worth the D or the pussy that you're getting for the compromise. If she doesn't or he doesn't, there are plenty of gamers out there who will understand you. Like me! And girls, you don't know how many men would fall in love with you all over again if you opened your mind to a good game. It's sexy and it shows intelligence and love for your man. Don't be afraid, games don't bite. You'll have fun too. Good luck and happy gaming! Wrath of Earth, I will be.